So, late afternoon, I was just dumb shit. I call it pretend a lot narcissist. I mean, he absolutely hates me for saying the truth about him. Yeah, he's a sick child monster. Yeah, it was over 10 years ago, some Walmart in Lancaster, he child molested, and beautiful, wonderful, awesome Spanish people. They beat him up on camera, where the cashiers were. See, I, it took me a long time, because he lied, didn't know why he got beaten up, that was why. And, it's really... Child molestation is a hard thing to prove. So, I was in Aurora, Colorado. I was told that by a professional doctor. Walked my six month old and my two and a half year old that was just raped. And he said that. Hard thing to detect. Especially when they already were. But very well could have been. Unfortunately, lady, I'm sorry. I had to walk away. And pretend a lot narcissist says, see? See? You, 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 see? He's a child molester. Now, what would a child molester say? Pretend a lot narcissist. Oh, he says, children, you just start to talk. They lie. Children lie. I'm like, the fuck? Oh, yeah, you're a child monster. Of course you're going to say children lie. Children lie? Age of three? I said two. They will lie. They lie. Children lie. Well, that's when he starts child molesting, like, you know, like every other sicko and lie cast tour. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. Children lie! So this evening I was a dipshit. Total dumb. Dumb shit. Called a fraternal narcissist. And of course, he's not gonna answer. And he read all my texts that I texted him. I'm like, you fucking asshole. You call up, um,. Crazy's intervention. For what? I was forced to call them back. Yeah. See how much of a fucking retard child molester you are. That's, so I wrote that. Uh, much. I had to tell them what a sick fuck he was to child molest at Walmart. And this is who you're who's calling you up and saying that oh uh, I'm so afraid for her life I'm, I'm afraid that she might hurt herself why would he do that because he's Satan the father of all lies okay an atheist doesn't believe that well he's fucking insane and he's fucking e they don't believe in evil either wrong Fucking insane and wrong. Just calling up, making up a story. Oh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm afraid for her life. I'm afraid she, she might harm herself. She will. And then just adding on all this fucking shit, all this bullshit. So I had, uh, I never listened to my messages. So he did that Monday, last Monday. This Monday is Memorial Day, the fifth. So it was last Monday, around 8 o'clock, he called Chris's intervention in Lancaster. Okay. This comes up with a letter of bullshit, out his asshole, anything, anything at all. I'm so afraid that my friends might, might harm themselves. Oh, she's just delusional. She's so sick. She, she was screaming at me and I, I was afraid she might hurt herself. I think she will. I think you, you should call her. This is her number. Please call her. Please. Whatever. So I call up Thursday. 
What the hell? Did Pretend Not Narcissist call you? Yes. I want to know what the hell he said. They didn't tell me, except he said you wanted to harm yourself. I think he's a fucking insane fucking nut. He's a fucking the, one of the craziest nuts I ever met. Yeah, like, what the fuck? He, he child molested it at Walmart and got fired for it. He's not going to tell you that. Next time he calls up, just know who he is. And, um, yeah. So he calculated when I texted him that. What the hell? You called crazy suspension? I told him you're a child blister, so now they know. Ooh, he's mad at that. Because I told him the truth. But it's all hearsay. Whatever he said was hearsay, whatever I say is hearsay. Okay. And then I just write, you know, um, what the hell? You always, always answer your phone. Whether you're in the bathroom, at work, if you're driving, eating, whatever time of day, you answer the phone. Whatever you're doing, even at work, you're not supposed to answer at work. You shouldn't, like, it's just a dipshit. I call him worse than that, but, yeah. Brainless. Doesn't know what the hell he's doing, ever. And can't ever admit to anything, can't ever say what exactly happened, but I can say that, I don't know, with a legion of demons on him, he can calculate what the fuck he's doing, right? So, he calls 20 minutes later. My fans on vibrate and my backpack. Didn't hear it. And then he calls 20 minutes later. So he calculated when he called me. And he's like, oh, Tara Chappelle, I called you. I called you back. But that was to get a response. And then he calls me 20 minutes later after that. So he waited 20 minutes to think about what he's going to say to me. And what he would have said to me is, well, I was, I was concerned about, okay. I was concerned that you were going to hurt yourself. That's why I called Crisis Intervention, because I care about you so much. So much. I love you. I don't want you to kill yourself. I'm so worried about you. Whatever bullshit, okay? He's this complete fucking father of lies. Satan himself. That's all he fucking is. So whatever, I uh, immediately turned off my phone when I read that text, but I thought it was, uh, and it took him an hour to text me back, and then I looked at it. It was only 20 minutes. And I, you know, I just had my phone in my backpack, and I was walking, so I didn't hear it. And, yeah, that's all he texted me, no, nothing like, how dare you? I mean, but this is what he's thinking. How dare you call Crisis Intervention and tell them I'm a job listener? Well, I just told them how delusional you are. They're gonna believe me over you. <laughs> like, whatever. It's all fucking bullshit. They don't care. It's all hearsay, but I had to call them up and straighten it out. Like, the fuck? Did this asshole call you? You know, he's fucking insane. Child molester, you got fired at Walmart, you know that? Just know that. Just write that down in your fucking notes. So, yeah. That's what I dealt with a little bit this evening. And, uh, my whole life is total hell because of all the child molesters I know. And I can't help that. Can't help to not narcissist as a child molester and... Almost everyone I know is a child molester. So, I mean, in my own little personal little world. Which is really, really, really sick. Child molester rapist. Like, hand in hand. It's just, it's disgusting. Even my husband. I mean, if you consider, you know, he took girls that, down to Maryland. To get them blacked out 
to rape them and they're 13 years old and he's 20, you can consider that child molestation because they're an underage. I mean, that's way underage. So stupid America, um, there's a lawsuit against um, parents that put up their children against one another. The guy got the girl pregnant, the guy's 18, got a 17 year old girl pregnant and there's a lawsuit against that. The parents did that. That's not child molestation. But in my late husband, James Lester Sapone, yes, that's more realistic that you could call that because she's a lot younger, not 17, but five years younger than 17. You could consider him a child molester. You don't do that. You don't get a, a little girl fucking drunk, fucking blacked out and rape her. Okay, and that's what he did. So he took advantage of her and it's called, it is called rape. He raped little 13 year olds when he was 20. He's a sick fuck okay and he watches child porn well he's dead now he's he watched child porn on his phone that i found when i was at pretend a lot narcissist place and then i had to hear pretend a lot narcissist say that they fired him from walmart for child molesting and then he child molested purple alien scammer strangers God's children ha happen to be a female. I call her all those names to protect her name. <laughs> purple alien scammer stranger. Purple alien stranger scammer. Whatever. He child molested those children. Awesome. So, you know, yeah. Well, that you that you they falsely accused. They finally accused me of a child molesting. They, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why people do this to me. Oh.